Welcome to Scrum Training Series Module 3, The Sprint Planning Meeting. I'm Michael James, or MJ. I help organizations do Scrum and related Agile practices. As you learned in Part 2, our team has already conducted a backlog refinement meeting. Now we'll watch them plan an actual sprint. I'll quiz you during the scene. Let's sneak into the team room now. This is a serious meeting, so keep quiet. Hello. As your Scrum Master, I'll be facilitating our Sprint Planning Meeting. During this meeting, the Product Owner and Development Team will agree to Sprint Goals and negotiate which items from the Product Backlog will be selected for the Sprint Backlog. We have a four-hour time box to plan a two-week Sprint. Any questions? Also, during this meeting, the team will come up with an initial list of tasks necessary to complete the selected PBIs. Sprint planning has two topics. Topic 1 is the what, and Topic 2 is the how. We'll use Sprint planning Topic 1 to select PBIs and Sprint planning Topic 2 to come up with tasks. If we had multiple teams, we do Topic 1 together with the shared product owner and Topic 2 in the breakout groups for each team. Since we're only one team, and the product owner is available for the whole meeting, we can mix up the two parts. Mr. Product Owner, is the product backlog prioritized the way you want it? Well, mostly, but I just realized that GPA is more important than attendance. That's more like it. Fortunately, we got the product backlog into good shape during the last product backlog refinement meeting. How long is the sprint we're planning? We do two-week sprints on this team. Two weeks? So we'll do the testing in another sprint. Scrum teams attempt to develop a potentially shippable product increment every sprint, or more frequently than that. This requires every sprint to have a mix of analysis, design, implementation, testing, integration, and even deployment. How will we get all of that done in two weeks? During backlog refinement, we divided the original epics into smaller user stories, representing thin vertical slices. We'll still have to work together during the sprint, more than a traditional team. That's why we got you a team room. I will prevent other people from interrupting you with unrelated work. If anyone asks you to do anything unrelated to our sprint goals, send them to me so we can add it to the product backlog. I won't interrupt your sprint unless it's an emergency. Don't forget about the time box. You have up to four hours to plan a two-week sprint. Eventually, you may not need the full four hours. What are our goals for this sprint? This sprint, I'd be happy to see some rudimentary capabilities with grading. This is the product owner's top priority item. Do the rest of you think we could do this in our two-week sprint? As a student, I can see my grades online so that I don't need to wait until I get to school to know whether I'm passing. Columns should align neatly on Fingerfly 4.1 and JFUN. What's our definition of done? Done is properly tested, refactored, and potentially shippable. I think I get it. We're building a product increment which could be shipped if the product owner decided it has enough features. I can live with something simple that works properly. The complexity can be folded in later. Does everyone agree that view grade's current semester PBI will require some testing tasks? Also, we have to decide how to access the grades database. It will take a little design work to lay out the page. What about the code?
Our test-driven development skills aren't that good yet. This will take a bit longer than our old way of working. Yes, initially it will feel like going slower. If you can commit as a team to use agile engineering practices consistently, you'll eventually be more effective from a business perspective. Product development is not about how fast you type code. What other tasks are missing to get this into potentially shippable state? Still think we can do this in two weeks without compromising our definition of done and without working overtime? Yes. yes. Anyone think we can't do it? Cool, what about the next one? As a teacher, I can update grades online so I don't depend on administrators to do it for me. As we discussed during the backlog refinement meeting, this one's tougher. Now our product must write our records to the database without breaking the legacy system. Can we do both of these PBIs in two weeks without compromising our definition of done and without working overtime? Yes. yes. Anyone think we can't do it? Hey, it's Michael again. This team used the whole time box to come up with the sprint backlog because it's one of the first sprints. If we keep the same team together and keep the sprint length constant, they'll eventually develop a better intuitive sense of their own capacity. What about attendance? I'd love to see that working. We think this is enough work for one sprint. Anyway, attendance isn't related to the sprint goal you declared. We're more effective at knowledge work when we limit work in progress, WIP. Humans don't multitask as well as we think we can. Too much work in progress slows things down. That's a lot of tasks. Should we decide which individuals are doing which tasks now? We tried that before and discovered it led to less fluid collaboration than deciding during sprint execution. Yeah, I signed up for too much in the beginning and was embarrassed to ask the rest of you for help. After that, in our sprint retrospective meeting, we decided team members should wait until the last responsible moment to volunteer for tasks. One last check. Are you ready to attempt these four PBIs as a team, even if they turn out to require different tasks? Yes, if you'll protect us from people asking us to do other things. I'll protect you from the wolves. I was working with this company in Miami when a couple of managers who'd seen this e-learning decided to storm the training room dressed as wolves. Yes. yes! Looks like you're done with the sprint planning meeting. Eventually, you might not need me for this meeting. Hey, it's me with an update. Note that sprint commitment was changed to sprint forecast in the 2013 Scrum Guide because the idea of commitment was being abused. That was one example of the sprint planning meeting. To experience a sprint planning meeting firsthand, attend one of our Scrum classes held around the world, also, download free resources such as the Scrum Reference Card, Scrum Master Checklist, and white papers on many topics. The next module in the series will cover the daily Scrum and Sprint execution.